dead? I am. I'm Tracy Steen. This is Move Daily Fitness. Today's workout, we're going to do a high intensity cardio hit workout. Okay, high intensity cardio, high intensity interval training. That's what I basically just said by saying hit. Okay, in today's workout, we're going to do a hit workout. There you go. Just like boom, say it. 30 minutes. That is it. No equipment is required, and we're going to do it coming up right now. Okay, because this is only 30 minutes, we're gonna hit it hard, high intensity, and there'll probably be a lot of burpees, just an FYI. Okay, are you ready to go? Starting with just a 10 second reprieve as we get going here. We're just gonna start a little lighter just to get you in warm up mode, uh, but then it's gonna very quickly escalate into hard intensity. Okay, here we go, just a skip to start. Hey, I love a nice intense cardio blast. Um, today's not a great day outside to do any cardio. I love hiking and stairs outside, but it's raining, so such is life. We can pull this up anywhere, anytime, any place. Hit it hard, and uh, bada bing, bada boom. You're burning three to 400 calories, just like that. All right, I didn't say the format, but it's 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. There's your rest right there. Just tap that out. Do it, going into jumping jacks, coming up in three, Two, here we go. All right, arms are high. Jack those legs. No low impact uh, modifications in this one. That 10 seconds in between doesn't really give me enough time to explain it, but hopefully you know how to modify for yourself if you can't do every one of these moves. Make sure you do that. And time, just a little rest again. All right, moving to some skiers, front and back. Just like that, ready? And here we go. Getting those legs and ankles, shins warmed up. Just kinda kick it up the heart rate here before we go into anything super intense. And I just realized, I forgot my microphone on the top of my camera. Oh! I hate it when I do that. Oh well, I probably won't be talking very much. <laughs> this is gonna get hard, I know. And rest. All right, let's go into some ice skaters, big jumps side to side. Okay, nice flat back, tummy's tight. And here we go. Big jump, bring that leg behind. Get those arms involved as well. Nice little sweeping motion front. Side to side, there you go. All right, you're halfway. Center jack side squat is coming up. All right, so you're gonna center jack side squat jack, okay? Alternating, shake that out. Ready, here we go. Center side, center side. Drop your glutes, nice and low there. Still kind of in warm up mode here. You're three minutes in. Hopefully your heart rate's getting up. Mine's starting to. All right, little rest. Butt kicks. Let's kick that butt coming up in four, three, two, here we go. If you like a longer cardio workout, I'll throw some cards up at the top there. If you want to take it, you know, a little longer than 30 minutes. We've got some good combo ones up there. Take a look at those. All right, good job, good job. Let's go down into mountain climbers. Okay, 
In four, three, two, here we go. Let's tap those legs in. Driving knees up to your elbows. Ten seconds here. Three, two, one. Stay down here. We'll go into that um, partial burpee. Feet are going to jump up toward the hands and then all the way back out. Ready? Here we go. Try to bring your feet up towards where your hands are. That's it, seven seconds. Push hard now. Three, two, woo -hoo. Okay, now we're warming up, looking slightly disheveled. Cardio kicks coming up, you're kicking in front. Here we go. I think I'll peel this shirt as soon as this round is done. Getting warm. Ten seconds. Come on, get those feet up. And rest. That's it. High knees coming up. In three, two, let's go. Right here. We'll take a quick water break at 10 minutes and then go for two more rounds. All different exercises in today's workout here. Knees high. Three, two, one. That's it. Good. <clears throat> Polo. Hopping on one leg for 15 seconds, then the other for 15. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. Makes my Achilles feel a little bit sore there when you're isolating. All right, switch legs. Bringing our first full burpee coming up here. We're gonna do a floppy burpee. All right, so you're gonna fall down onto your stomach, pop up, and jump to the ceiling. Get ready in four, three, two, here we go. All the way down. Touch your stomach to the ground. Five seconds. Oh. All right, let's go into a skip just to bring the heart rates down slightly. Whew. Ready and ready. Up. Good job. All right, you're gonna do a full mountain climber, but kind of like a mountain sprinter. Okay, really, really fast. Get down to that position right now. Super fast, okay? Driving those knees up fast and aggressive. In three, two, here we go. Just like that, let's go. Bum stays down. Good, you're halfway. Don't stop, come on. 
Feel this in your glutes for sure. And you go so fast like that. Five seconds. Oh, it was hard. I didn't like it. Okay. One more exercise before the break. Let's go to butt kicks again. Here we go. Right there. Nice and quick. Halfway. So either take a quick break with me for water or keep it going. All right. Okay, we're gonna start with a candlestick for 30 seconds. Take a break, then candlestick with jumping lunges, okay? Get ready in three, two, here we go. This will give you the sense of what you're doing. Stand, and again, okay? Now, a lot of people cross their legs here to get up. It feels fine for me to do it this way. You do whatever works. Get those hips right to the ceiling though. Up right there. So you look like a candlestick, hence the name. Up, okay, one more here. Roll, break, ah, oh, my hair is screwed, my bones. Do it, candlestick, jumping, lunge, candlestick. Ready, go. Oops. Sometimes you do a little over rotation, be careful about that. One, two. One, two. One, two. Last one. Okay, that's fun, right? Bored it on fun. Let's go ready to jump in lunges since we didn't get too many of those in. Hands out. Here we go. Whew, it burns. Halfway. Gross. Squat jumps coming up. Like a regular squat. Jump it up. Here we go. Low and hop. Get low. Explode off those toes. Use your hands. Oh, lactic acid. Halfway. Oh. Brutal. In three, two, uh, oh, the lactic acid didn't get to dissipate for me. Side shuffle, get low, side to side, here we go. Give me some fast feet here, come on. Stay low, don't round at the Back, you want to just hinge at the waist. Stick your chest out. Almost there. Five seconds. Come on. Uh oh. Gross. Okay. Seal jacks coming up. Jacking in the front. Ready. Here we go. Reverse lunge hop, coming up in three, two, time.
Take it back, hop it up, same leg for 30 seconds. Ready? Low, hop, low. Really bend that back knee, okay? Drop it down. One more. Oh. Whew. When it holds that isometric contraction, it's brutal, it just burns. Ready, and go. Those first 10 seconds always feel totally doable, and then it gets hard. In four, three, two, oh, yucky. All right, let's go with some front kicks just to bring heart rates down a bit. Ready, here we go. Kick those legs out front. Fast feet burpees coming up. Stay tall here. 10 seconds. Okay, Whew. Fast feet for three, burpee for one. Okay, you got it. In three, two, here we go. One, two, three, burpee. Floppy burpee. One, two, three, on your stomach. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, well, that's over. Brutal. Okay. Side to side shuffle. Punch in the front. Let's go, here, boom, that's it. Halfway. Sprawling frog kick. Okay, remember this? Plank position, knees to elbows, plank, stand. Here we go. Up, stand, no jump at the top. Drive those knees to your elbows. Halfway. 
Round the world lunges coming up. Front, side, reverse, switch legs. Okay? I'm gonna do it sideways just so the camera stays focused. Here we go. Front, side, reverse, switch. Front, side, reverse. It's pretty easy. That's a good heart rate. Decreaser here. Almost there, eight seconds. All right, that's it. Take a few seconds for water break or keep it going. Last 10 minutes, let's hit it hard. You're going down to a burpee foot sweep, okay? So get down there, sweep the foot, touch the hand to the foot. Here we go, okay? So burpee, touch, switch, touch, and jump. That's one, let's go. Touch, and touch, and. 10 seconds. Let's get one more in, come on. Okay, that's good. Let's go to a donkey kick. Okay, feet are up in the air. You can step this out if you can't jump it. Here we go, and up. Probably waking my son up here. One more. Ugh, that's horrible. If you're dizzy, take a second. Okay, let's go to Predator Jacks. Here we go. Wide together. Let's go. Drop it low. Ugh, arms are feeling that one. Side lunge hop coming up. Just 15 seconds aside on that guy. All right, Ugh. shake it out. Side here, hop here. This one's hard for me, ready. And here we go, up, low, up. Side, not reverse. I don't know why a single leg hop. It's so hard. Switch sides. <clears throat> Get low, come on. Drive it up. Three, two. Uh. Okay, butt kicks. Just to bring it down a second. Ready. And let's go. Wide. Actually kick your butt. Come on. Get it up, get it up. Baby tiny fast ice skaters coming up. Super fast, super sh short. Okay, not a big jump. Tiny jump. Three, two, one. So you're here, okay? Ugh. Three, two, here we go. Up. Make it quick. Quick and shallow, quick and shallow. Frog squats coming up. Touching the ground in the center. Three, two, and one. Ugh. Okay, let's not 
jack, frog jack. It's just a frog squat jump. Ready? Here we go. Low. Switch hands. So it's kind of like a sumo squat position. Fifteen seconds. We're going to do some box squat jumps. I didn't tell you I needed a box or a chair or a couch. If you don't have one and you're outside, just opt for a squat jump, okay? Like this. Otherwise, we're sitting jumping up. Ready? Let's do it. You can get a nice little bit of explosion here. Karaoke coming up next. A little side to side. Grapevine, also labeled as karaoke. Oh, can't do it. Okay. So your front, back, front, tap. Okay? But fast. Right? Low. Let's go. Better if you have more space, but this is hard to. Split, split, squat coming up. Uh, getting harder. Split, split, squat jump. Here we go. Hello, come on, halfway through. And over halfway through this last circuit. Only a few minutes to go. Good job. Okay. Partial burpee. Sorry. Bottom burpee. Stay low. Here we go. So you jump right there only. Like a partial, just bring your hands up. <coughs> Keep those legs wide. Excuse me. Let's go. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle. How annoying. <coughs> Mercy. Ten seconds. Burpee plank jack coming up. We have two more left. Okay, let's make them good ones. Plank, burpee, jack, jump. Here we go. Almost there. And down. Uh, stay down here. Uh, last one down here. Let's make it another mountain climber. Round the circle here though. Okay, semi-circle mountain climber. Crunching those obliques slightly as you come to the side. Whew. That is work. 
Extend the legs behind you. Shorten them at the side. Oh, three, two. Are you dead? I am. All right, great job, everyone. That was a great little cardio. Let's lie on your backs. Arms are wide, knees are 90 degrees or bent. Let's let those legs fall to one side. Look to your opposite hand there, stretching through the torso a little bit here. Oh, my heart rate's still coming down. Hopefully you've taken a few seconds, grabbed some water, brought your heart rate down before you've joined for this stretch part. Whew, that was work, wasn't it? I liked it, mostly. Switch sides, oh, this is tight. So we'll do a quick stretch here. Stay tuned at the end though, where I talk about what I think your strategy going into summer regarding nutrition should be, okay? I have my uh, two cents right at the end of this video there, so stay tuned for that. <sighs> glory, glory. All right, let's go ahead and stretch that hamstring. Grab the back of your calf, flex your foot, point it to the ceiling. We're lengthening through that hamstring muscle there. Just give it a nice pull gently. Should feel it stretch, but not pain, of course. And I like to flex that foot, give it a little roll up there too. Good job. Let's take that same leg, cross it over. Now that knee should be over at the center of your chest and then pull both legs in towards you. Feeling a good glute stretch right there. Did you try my new um, no slip, no roll mini band workout? I just posted it the other day. Um, if not, I will link the card at the end of this video and you can check that out. It was, um, holy Hannah, it was hard. Switch legs, hamstring stretch here. So it's a new mini band that I bought that's no slip, no roll, and it actually doesn't at all. It was fantastic that way, but I got the, the really small one, so it was super, super difficult. Um, my glutes are still feeling it, and that was like three or four days ago. Okay, cross that leg over, over the center of the chest, bring everything in for a good hug. So, does it do what it says, what it claims? You bet. Definitely worked my glutes. Couldn't use it on the upper body though, it was too hard, too difficult of a strength. So, I think I'll order the lighter one as well, just to give myself some options with upper body. I do like the mini band still, like the, the rubber ones for upper body, I'm just seated. Nice and slow if you're dizzy. Let's do a butterfly stretch here. Uh, I mean, they're, they're just so easy and portable and cheap, you know. But with the mini bands, the, the rubber ones, they, they can tend to roll. And when I posted that on my Instagram, a lot of people said, I hate it when they roll. I'm like, yeah, right up, right? Me too. Hurts. Um, and it's just annoying because sometimes it can cut in the back. And if you don't have it in the right place over a good size muscle, it can cut into some tendons. You don't want a mini band being super skinny like a rope pushing against tendons and ligaments, right? You don't want that. That's, that's not good for those, so got to be cautious there. Um, anyway, let's stretch those legs out and flex. Okay, I want to give a good calf stretch here. We did a lot of hopping and jumping today, so uh, even if you can reach your toes, go ahead and pull them gently towards you and stretching through those calves and then go ahead and flex. Give those shins a good stretching too. Sometimes a lot of hopping, skipping, jumping can give you some shin splits. That's just, you know, lack of time spent on your, on, in that jumping motion probably. And let's flex again. Um, sometimes I get shin splits too if I do hills, hiking, because you're on your tiptoes, right? You're using a lot of that front shin where we don't use it too frequently normally. So that's part of that. Woo. Okay, let's go to a quad stretch, grab those shoelaces, and I want you to push your hip away from you. Try to keep your knees close together here. Grab your shoelaces and then just lengthening through that quad there. Oh, heart rate is still coming down. That was tough. I'm dripping sweat. You probably can't see, but 30 minutes of high intensity like that, it's some work. Again, on average, switch sides, probably burning around 3 to 350 for calories if you're tracking. If you have an app or something that you like to track your workouts on, uh, you know, something like my fitness pal or the lose it app are nice to log your, your, 
your intake, so the amount of uh, workouts that you're doing and then your food that you're consuming. It's a great way to be cognizant of what you're consuming um, and just to be aware. You know, sometimes as women especially, there were studies done on women and as the older you get, you're eating more but you recognize it less. less. So you're really not aware of how many things that you're putting into your mouth. Or they, they noticed that when they, law, when they tested women, the older they got, the less that they recorded accurately. <laughs> That's because we're losing our memory. That's par for the course, I guess, as we're aging. Okay, little rounding stretch here. Excellent. Great job today, everyone. And stay tuned right here for my little note about how you should be eating for this summer. Summer's right around the corner, isn't it? It's getting really close. Hey, what's your plan for your nutrition coming up this season? Are you gonna be one of those people that just kinda grab a crash diet, or maybe you're gonna go keto or paleo, um, really ramp up the clean eating? Maybe you're gonna just starve yourself. Maybe you're just gonna stop eating so that you can finally feel good in that bathing suit. I just wanna say that as you launch into summer and uh, think about some of the nutrition protocol that you're going to be following, just remember that balance is the key to a long, healthy, sustainable way to lose body fat. All right, kind of going all balls to the wall and using a crash diet or using something that is so extreme that eliminates almost every food that's tasty is not going to be long lasting. I've trained clients for over 11 years and people who have gone on restrictive diets cannot sustain them. You just can't. Sure, you'll lose weight for maybe the season, um, but you can't keep it off unless you shift for good what you're eating, number one. Shift it for good. Number two, figure out the patterns that got you there in the first place. And number three, really understanding the why behind the food that you're eating. Not just the what. It's not just about what am I consuming, what macros am I eating. If, if you understand that, that's fantastic. But if you're still struggling with your weight and you haven't understood the why behind it, if you don't understand why you're eating, why you come home at night and raid the pantry, why you get up in the middle of the night and uh, go and binge on something that's sweet or salty, if you don't know why you're overeating at every meal, those are the things you need to take a deeper look at. Okay, that being said, I wish for you health and wellness in that arena and for balance. If nothing else, try to think about being balanced as you move forward with your nutrition this spring. And um, we're going to be talking more about that in the weeks to come, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. Okay, that's it for today's video. Go ahead and click or tap the screen right here or here for more videos, cardio high-intensity ones just like this.